It's your voice, your vote. It's becoming clearer by the day. Virginia is becoming a political hotspot. This year's election could serve as a precursor for next year's presidential race. Yeah, speculation is still swirling about a potential White House run for Governor Glenn Youngkin. Virginians are weighing in and considering the move. Alex Little Hales explains what recent research now tells us. We're posing the same question to voters on the streets that hundreds across Virginia are seeing too. I would support him wholeheartedly if he would run, he would throw, the, throw his hat in. If I support this governor, no, he should not throw his hat into the ring right now. New survey results published by the University of Mary Washington Friday morning show 37% of responders would pick President Joe Biden over Governor Glenn Youngkin if they were the only two presidential options on the ballot. In August, a Virginia Commonwealth University study published a different study with the opposite results, as Governor Youngkin took in 44% of the response. But is this hypothetical path even possible? Donald Trump never ran a political race in his life. Barack Obama was a first-term senator. Folksy with the sweater vests and down home, and I'm a basketball dad. Um, that combination is really potent. Dr. A.J. Nolte, a political expert from Regent University, says the Virginia governor does have favorable presidential appeal, but faces an uphill climb based on the timing of the November elections. So the first hurdle he needs to clear is he needs to do well in those elections. Um, he, obviously, he can't jump in before that because it would disunite the Republicans in the Iowa, New Hampshire, and I think potentially South Carolina, um, he would not be able to get on the ballot. I believe the earliest that he could do is Nevada, and that would be very, very tight timing. Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now.